What color were your mom's eyes? They're beautiful. My mom has uh, hazel eyes. Oh, man, they, I mean, they stand out in a black and gray yeah, picture. I mean, that's fucking awesome. Are they still real bright? Oh, yeah. And even when she was, you know, having all that chemo and radiation, and her eyes never lost that shine. Never. And it's crazy because she... When, once you have cancer and you've been diagnosed with stage four, you know, which is when it metastasizes, um, she knows it's really just a matter of time, but she's made peace with it. And she's not scared. I mean, she's just totally down with whatever happens next. Wow. And I can't say I feel that way. <laughs> I was going to say, what about yourself? And I'm getting it as a tribute to her because uh, she's a breast cancer survivor, two times over now. So it's a tribute to her. And she lives pretty far away, so it's pretty awesome that now every day I can look down and she'll be right on me. Check this out real quick. This is all freehand, you know, so he drew this all on. Basically, you know, you start off with you know, like a red, everyone does it a little differently. So, you know, he started off with a red sharp, he kind of sketched it in, did the, the final, you know, with the black so you can kind of see where he's going, but that's just straight freehand. So, you get to check out the line work and all that good stuff here in a little bit. Well, what we did is we went through with colored outlines and uh, the next session we'll come through here with uh, all the dark colors like the blacks and browns and stuff. And uh, pretty much we'll let this heal up and, you know, go back in and get all the detail and then we'll come in next time. So. Okay, in Switzerland, man, we're there. And we're, we're waiting because, like, we, we flew into to Geneva, and then we went down to this place called Lausanne. Um, lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> we're on our way to Lausanne. And then in Lausanne, you have to go to some this place called Auchi, and then in Auchi, you hop on a ferry. Well, we made it down to the water. Now we're on our way to... Uh, try to find the ferry. There's Aaron. I guess I found the ferry. And then you go over right now. And now she had like all this shit going on. They had public bathroom and everything right there, right? Well, let me show you something. This is how they expect you to go to the bathroom, bro. This is the turd slide. Oh, I was thinking this is like outside. Or no, it's, it's in the bathroom, dude. Wow. What? How do you use this thing? You put your feet there. And then you poop on that slide. Look, I'm having to show you the wall and everything. So you look, there it is. I'm gonna check it out and see what's up. You, you, one of two things. Like you have to have either extremely good balance, you know, because you have to freaking do this, dude. They have a handle like this, and you have to like lean back. There's no water, you know, no water. I see. Aaron wasn't able to do it. I can poop anywhere. I poop on command. My neighbors got drive by on. Really? For real, dude. I'm sitting there in my house and I hear this car drive by very slow and I just thought it was cop probably, you know. So I get up, I look out my, my window, I'm standing there, dude pulls right up next to my neighbor's house. Guy just rolls down his window and just starts blasting my neighbor's house. Yeah, it was crazy. I've been there for seven years, you know. I, I mean, Aaron, Aaron, yeah. Dude, Aaron came over. Well, I don't know, like a month ago, and he had his his um, fiance's daughter, year and a half old. They're there. It's dark out. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody's knocking on my door, but it was in my garage. Like the dude was in my house, and it's just some homeless guy asking for money, dude. Like that's fucked up. No, I had a crowbar in my hand. I was about to blast him, but I wouldn't do that in front of a one-year-old. You know what I mean? He's lucky. I mean, you would have been a <laughs> Yeah, the West Side neighborhood group was freaking out, you know? Yeah, and you know, like, half those people that sit on that organization, 
are like people who just moved here. You know, it's like you obviously don't know what the west side of town's about, you know? I mean, they were saying, you know, we were gonna bring gang violence with the murals and, you know, vandalism. And it's like, well, you know, we raise kids here too. If this is an issue, we don't wanna do that. But I don't think that's what we're doing, you know? And so, but the, the, that, that place is a joke. And they're trying to get rid of uh, territory days. And, oh, really? Yeah, I mean, they're just Nazis, you know? You know, the west side of town's always been about individuals and art and stuff over here. And, um, they're like, there's no art. I'm like, what are you talking about? I mean, there's like art galleries up and down the road here. She's like, name one. I'm like, one. I'm like, look at Michael Garman right there, you know? She's like, oh, he's a wannabe artist. And I'm like, like, you know, excuse me, I take, well, I'm a little offended by that, seeing that, you know, he made our city for a long time, you know. Yeah, they wanted to put me, uh, they wanted me to sit on the council for that west side thing. And I started to realize, you know, the only people who show up to those are people who have something to bitch about. If you have nothing to bitch about, you don't go to those meetings, you know. And it's like, oh, I don't have time for that, you know. I told him, I was like, fuck, you run all the businesses out of there. What do you have? All you have is a frickin' ghost town. Next thing you're gonna do is have another Cripple Creek going. You know, it's like you're gonna have to start gambling or something. And it's like, you wanna keep it old looking, but you don't wanna have businesses. I'm like, you don't keep the small businesses, Walmart or someone's gonna move in there and destroy all these beautiful buildings. But I don't know shit. I just cut my opinions, you know.